RAM, random access memory. RAM is like your system's short-term memory. When you open a game or browser, it loads into RAM for quick access. The second you turn off your device, poof, everything in RAM disappears. That's why you shouldn't expect unsaved work to survive a sudden shutdown. Cache memory. Even faster than RAM, cache is tiny memory inside the CPU. It stores ultra-frequently used data, like when your browser autofills URLs. It's small, but super fast. Registers. If cache is fast, registers are insanely fast. These live right inside the processor and handle instructions for each cycle. We usually don't talk about them much because they're invisible to most users, but they're crucial for performance. HDD, hard disk drive, the OG of storage. HDDs are like mechanical record players, a spinning disk and a tiny needle read write data. They're cheap and hold tons of data, but they're also slow and can break if dropped, still used in budget PCs and for backups. SSD, solid state drive. These are like USBs on steroids, no moving parts, so they're faster and more durable than HDDs. Your laptop boots up in seconds? Think an SSD downside. They're more expensive per gigabyte. NVMe SSDs. These are even faster SSDs that connect directly to the motherboard via PCIe slots. Think zero lag, high-speed gaming, fast file transfers. NVMe drives are the future. Flash drives slash USB sticks. Super handy for carrying files in your pocket. Uses flash memory, same as SSDs, but in smaller form. Great for quick backups or transferring data offline. Memory cards, SD slash micro SD. Used in cameras, phones, drones. Same flash tech, just in a tinier size. Limited lifespan, but super useful. Optical discs, CD, DVD, Blu-ray. Yeah, remember those? They're fading now, but they were once the king of media storage. Discs use lasers to read, shush, write data. Not super reliable anymore, but still used in some backup systems. External hard drives, basically portable HDDs or SSDs, good for backups or storing huge files like videos, games, or music libraries. Just plug and play. Cloud storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud. Your files are stored on someone else's computer in a data center. You upload your data, and it's stored securely in the cloud, and you can access it from any device. Fun fact, every time you upload a selfie to Instagram, it gets stored in the cloud on powerful SSDs somewhere around the world. NRES, Network Attached Storage. Imagine having your own personal Google Drive at home. That's a NAS, a small box with hard drives that connects to your Wi-Fi, letting you access files from any device in your home, or even remotely. SAN storage area network, used in big enterprises. It's like NAS, but way more complex and powerful, used to handle massive amounts of data in companies and data centers. Magnetic tapes, you'd think they died with the 90s, but no, they're still used for archiving huge amounts of data. Super cheap per terabyte and very durable. Google, Amazon, and NASA still use tape backups. DNA data storage. Yep. Scientists have found ways to store data inside actual DNA strands. It's insanely compact. One gram of DNA can store 215 petabytes of data. That's basically the entire internet. Not ready for consumers yet, but it's being tested. Holographic storage. Think 3D storage, using light to store data in multiple layers. Still experimental, but has huge potential for high-capacity storage.